and he also never played it in his career. Right. So this isn't a map that we can expect him to play well, you know, with the extra pressure of all this stuff and already having a, a great map today. Maybe a bit better, maybe a bit more comfortable in general, but map specifically, Vitality will make it really hard for him. Now, they did, they did do well versus Big, who are a great Dust2 team, but part of that, and a huge reason, was because of Hunter's 2.0 rating Damn. in that match. You know, and the reason they won a map versus Vitality was crazy performance from Nico. So we know that when it comes to the co-batches, it's uh, quite the uphill battle. Dupree, he's got one. Magisk, the other. 3v3 inside the B site, JKS. Little space to work oh. with, but he doesn't need much. He's got a teammate on the flank, and it's Nico with the last one. G2 from map one win to map two, pistol victory. That was icy, and we didn't even talk too much about JKS. He had the 1v3 on Vertigo as well, and that was a game where every little bit mattered. 16-14, of course. JKS is just not someone who I'm worried about in terms of getting comfortable, you know what I'm saying? I think there is a bit of, like, overinflation with how much people expect from JKS because of, like, he was the best player out of Australia, but in, in even on the Renegades, in terms of, like, his overall rating, it's not like he was up there in the, you know, 1.20 across the year or anything like that. He was, uh, he still broke top 20 in one year, uh, but just barely, kind of. So, but they, they still need, the JKS, obviously himself, he was talking about after taking a long break, it's hard to get back to being reintegrated. But at his best, he's extremely good, and we're starting to see that again. Now we are. And he'll be left to his own devices over in that B site for this map. Kind of doing his thing, finding his groove. Helps that the pistol kicks off like that. You get Monacy on 32 health retreating, Dupree 47 with the Deagle. Bomb left outside of the tunnels. And a pack of Vitality players still lingering in spawn. And we're also already seeing Hunter being pervasive, which is what we saw last time on Dust2. He was in lower a lot. He took some good off angles. I did a demo review of Hunter, and honestly, it was one of the best demo reviews that I've ever done in terms of watching one individual play throughout a half. His CT side on this map on versus big, Worth watching back if you want to watch it yourself. There was so much to learn. And there was a lot of ingenuity from G2 in terms of the way they used him, different spots they played. That off angle he had in front of the Xbox inside of mid with a, a Hunter setup, that was something that was like brand new to me and looked extraordinary. And that was just one of many things, a litany of things that they did that were cool. They're going to get out of the tunnels here, Vitality. They've gotten Monacy off of the plat. He comes at it from a different angle. Remember, JKS towards car. So that's really the emergency plan. Oh, and now it's an emergency. Spinx with a kill. Magus with a double. Nico catching one inside of CT. Little health for the other three. But the fact that JKS didn't get anything there off of the car means yeah. that Vitality bounced right back. Yeah, they got smoked. And uh, before this game started, you were like, is this the last map? Like, wondering, is this, like, can G2 actually pull this off? Because they don't get nuke again, where they were, you know, very good versus Vitality. And the only reason I wasn't entirely sure it's just because there were such unbelievable things that happened the last time they played dust 2 that like you know expecting a 2.0 performance back to back i don't know if that's ever happened in history mm. so on the one hand hunter's better today overall on the other hooksy is not expected to have output on dust 2 in general it's just not having any experience on the map and um there are, it's G2, of course. There's Monacy, there's Nico that can all have huge pop-up games. But in terms of vitality, we know they're comfortable. And here's the first sign. Tough one already. Deflating for G2, but uh, they've still got some pieces of the puzzle. M4 for Nico, Scout on Monacy, MP9 Hunter. Just a tough pill to swallow when you're thinking off of a map win, you've got the pistol and momentum, and it just gets ripped away. But it was Magisk who did that. The two-shot kill to JKS on car. You know, Monacy was really relying on that M4 to deliver some kind of a B-hold. Nico looking to make that first contact. Dupree crosses over, gets away from the duel alive. Monacy could opt to go for some kind of a mid-hold, but then he'll be met by the scout of Apex. Oof, not far off the mark. Little flash for the cat peak. Magisk and Zylu gonna go carve a route towards A potentially. But that draws Monacy back up the ramp. It's Hunter with the MP9 inside of sight. Monacy gets onto the long corner. As long as Hooksy can maintain long doors, these two players in sight can wait. It's a 
entirely possible with the time left on the clock that they do run it back, but it feels like they've got an inclination to make this into a B-split. Now, we're all following the bomb, actually. On top of the Xbox, dropping down now. An entry. Uh oh Don't want to lose. Boy. Nico, just the one. JKS. Oh, he sees the gun fly by. Cooksy's down by a bunch, trying to flank. Just Eesh. get away. At least he's alive. You know, time is critical. <laughs> he's still surviving. Bullets flying all over the place, but the B site clear for the taking. And ultimately, Vitality get away from what was a wild set of engagements. Magus can go ahead and kill Hunter at the base of middle. Monacy, despite his best efforts, not able to connect too much. So Vitality, there it is. 2-1. Yeah, they survived that one pretty damn well. Couple test shots here from Monacy. So he gets warmed up. Uh-oh. Yeah. Dead. Apex right there for him. So all five down to the G2 players. Vitality early T side lead. I think the best kill matrix from this uh these last two maps is Apex versus Monacy. That's awesome. They're coming now. They call they missed the smoke? I'm not sure. Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. Your eyes will fall out of your head. Yeah. Or get stuck. <laughs> Big old conga line of players through middle. Okay, not bad. USBs, apparently that's allowed to happen. That's two, in fact, with just the vanilla pistols. Nico's gonna get killed by Dupree on the flank. Very quick one from Vitality, but G2 knew what they signed up for. Yes, indeed. So, on the rifles again. So curious, man. What version of G2 we'll get, how good Vitality will look on Dust2. Good to watch Spinks on this map as well. And uh, it's not often that, like, when you put Oppers head-to-head, -head, that that actually is, has any meaningful impact on the way the game plays out, because Oppers are not looking to attack other Oppers. That's like a queen attacking a queen. Like, you're trying to pick off weaker pieces most of the time. But on Dust 2, there is a lot of situations where the Oppers will meet each other. And Monacy and Zywoo both have that confidence. I think Monacy's better when it comes to picking the door, picking the cross. Uh, attacking it. I think he's figured out this new Dust 2 better than anyone, honestly. I said it. Say it loud. Say it proud. There's nothing there, though, from G2 on the mid-doors. It's long instead that has Monacy's eyes <laughs> on it. Lexi V bait. It worked. They made it. It's the jump to make it look like they're jump spotting across. Right. And Draw Spinks right in. Yeah, shout out to Alexi for that one. Just jump on the doors, bro. <laughs> Towards car, we've got Nico on window. It's JKS. Ooh, JKS wins the duel, loses health, falls down into the site. Look at Dupree. Just tunnel visioned on the player inside the site. Zywu on the recovery. There's no assist here for Nico. Flash in. He hides to the corner. Wow. Gets one. And then Apex flies down on him into the one versus two from the 1v3. <laughs> Don't talk about that. Sorry. Frag on the door. <laughs> Won't make it across. Tries to jump and gets clapped. Sorry. That wasn't that, but it's late. <laughs> that just looks so crazy. It looked like Apex jumped higher than you could possibly go. <laughs> <laughs> He's just entirely off Nico's screen. Oh, fuck. They flashed me. Oh, whoop. <laughs> Look, Look at, at that. that. Where is he? Look at that. <laughs> I don't know. Everything he does is funny. Man's got jetpacks. All right, that's a hold. Dupree, very unassuming that uh, that position wouldn't be held. Yeah. Oh, Magis? Was it Magis running across the site? That was Dupree. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was in kill mode. Yeah. <laughs> he locked on. Like a torpedo. One direction. Yeah, and when we talk about spots, you know, they might be like, all right, Hooksy's long. We can attack long. But just because someone plays a spot doesn't mean they're playing it alone. In this case, it's Nico to the pit. It's a hell of a set of hands to help Hooksy. Uh-oh. They know he's talked in. 
Nico gonna feed him to the wolves. Whoa. And not get the trade frag, but Monacy's coming over. Ooh, damn, Nico, empty-handed. So both the CTs on long go down for free. Dupree's gonna slide out through middle as JKS walks over. Whoa, right on the corner. JKS wins the duel. Brings it back by a bit. Check the HP, 46-48 between Sphinx and Apex. Yeah, time is a thing. I think Cat opening up Cat is actually huge if this A split comes down, but they're leaving Sphinx as a lurker. I think they're moving at a pretty good tempo here because uh, Sphinx can kind of be annoying. They haven't cleared out long, and this will put immense pressure on JKS, who's already been peppered down by Dupree earlier on. So look at the A players. I mean, they're tied up. They have to worry about Cat. He's just going to tuck into the Humvee. Yeah, this is... I mean, it's it's a kind of a nice risk for him if no one comes out mid and smoke for door. We'll see if it works. One flash. Oh, he's gonna tuck. Comes out. Back to turn. Ooh. Two kills. That's pretty big. Wow. And the closer rotate picks up a frag. So Zaiwu into the one v two. They immediately split directions with Hunter heading in through tunnels. Zaiwu just leans it back. Not sure if someone wants to take a risk and walk through smoke. Things could get a little freaky. But Monacy just getting slightly closer and making sound now. So Zaiwu piecing together the picture. Hunter still unbeknownst to him. A barrel to confirm that Monacy's coming. And a quick headshot times two. Oh, Zaiwu on the back site. Easy. That was dripping with intelligence. The way that he played the back box there. As you can see from our position, the two guys on his screen, they would have no idea where he'd be. They couldn't corroborate this information. But look what's open. The window the entire time. He finds a way to take a risk of standing just somewhere on the site. And if they don't come window in this spot, he has an enormous advantage in both of those engagements, especially the door. I mean, that's just Zaiwu moment number 900. Feels like did. we isolate JKS's, you know, impact and he did his job. Yeah. Currently topping that scoreboard. Nine frags to Justin Savage's name. Nothing for G2 to really play with here. Nico gets a deagle because he's Nico. Everybody else has got to work with the USPs. Yeah, his perk is just getting deagles for free. Ooh. They're in the right positions here, G2. Not working with much. Good early damage, but with the Desert Eagle getting nothing, safe to say G2. Gonna get flipped inside out for this one. Sphinx has got that last kill. Five alive as well for Vitality. Excellent. There was also uh, one thing that was a negative on the setup uh, at long, where I kind of felt like Hooksy, first of all, I think Hooksy should have been the pit player because the way he was playing it, he's like, I'm gonna set you up, I'm gonna bait, I'm gonna get a kill, and then, you know, you take contact. But if you're playing blue bin, you're typically not doing that when you're alone. Okay. Because you can't move from there, right? You can't multi-frag that easily. It's hard to flash for you even. You have to turn from everything. So if he was going to bait, maybe he should have been the one to pit. Nico blew in. He can try to take the heat off of him. Uh, or he just peaks second and just kind of plays it the best way possible. But Holy okay. Hell. Well, they're already into the B site. Yeah, they didn't smoke the door yet. JKS has yet to step foot inside this site and it belongs to him. Whoa. He still manages to catch Dupree. The retake utility, not the very best, but enough tools for the job, for sure. Yeah. And Nico starting to flank top middle. Now, Sphinx is generally going to be one of these late mid plays. Sometimes tuck tunnels, as he is. Feels like Nico would know better, but... Oh, man, this is a freebie straight up. JKS takes the chance just because he is that close. Yeah. He doesn't get enough to justify the retake, and G2, with no early B players, get called out by Vitality. Yeah, sometimes you start outside the site, they were heavy lean towards A, and because the doors were flipped, you can tend to the entrance to the B site and get damage off. In this situation, he didn't really... It's kind of like playing CT on Mirage. You know, it's easy to stay alive, kind of difficult to get your kill, but you have a good way to stay alive if you do. And in this situation, they're not going to win the retake. If he gets two kills, they could. So it's kind of the same logic as the Hummer play, I think, where he's like, all right, I'm just going to go for this. And if they don't, they just, you know, they lose one player and then they try again next round. They don't lose anything else, so. Don't say it. My lips are sealed. Okay. 
Binks, big risk. Sent on his own behind blue. Mm. They're worried about it. They're not mollying him. Oh, they don't think he's there. Do they not? That'll be a huge mistake if they just start running by him. Boy, Hooksy. Still looking at it, but doesn't really believe it. Sure enough, Sphinx comes in with the one kill. Nico's got the trade at least. So it's recovered, but it is still Vitality. Vitality. Vitamins. It's the French in me. Vitalité, là. Always wanted to cast with Apex. What a treat that would be. You would need a cam on screen. Actually, what a treat that would be. Oh, oh, the upper B push. It's coming in slowly, but heavily with this op. Oh, he's going to get smoke. in front of the smoke, yeah. Ooh, they're not going to expect this one. Nope, not whatsoever. Ooh, he's but alive. Apex bursting through middle oh. with tenacity. And that is just all his teammates need. They may be blocked off by the smoke. They may have lost one to Monacy, but Apex finds that mid-timing. And it is superb. Ooh, even goes one better. Drops Hunter. Pushes Nico to the 1v3. And he's got to ask himself if he thinks he's got what it takes. They double peek. They decide to take him down. The Danes, an aggressive end to another round win. Nice. They played that confidently. Just swung on him. All about Apex, baby. Modesty just kind of missed here. We'll say. You know, it wasn't the hardest shot for him. And it, he was in a position to maybe hold on to that a little longer. Apex dies. Then that CT rotation is real. And then, the, you know, they can still lose. Trying to get into the B site, but they have a much better chance. But hey, we all miss sometimes, right? Speak for yourself. <laughs> Hunter's fine. They peel back from what was originally the three man long. Timing's all working out. Hooksy making a bit of a ruckus. Will be heard. Ooh, there's a lot of players. Big pack here from Vitality. Gonna drop one into the CT. Ooh, Dupree bests Nico quick. Monacy, see if he can hang on. He's got two more bodies confirmed up top. They know that there's somebody tucked into the CT spawn. That's Apex. And they decide to rock the boat back. Do they know he's CT? I swear they saw him drop. He's kind of being careful about it. Yeah, yeah. the clear comes out. The flash is perfect. It, he takes a few seconds, but that, that that flash is what they needed to make sure. Good teamwork here from G2 to deal with what could have been a real problem. And JKS on the opposite side of the wall. Forfeits over the site. Slides into the action. Dies. Mm. And now we've got a curious situation. The thing is, Zaiwu needs to cross with that bomb. So as he goes over, he's not going to be able to get himself a fight. But they're not far off. Hunter is right there on the doorway. Utility here for the CTs. Flashbang thrown. That's all they've got. It's a commitment quick. Off connects. So does Magisk. Last man up is Monacy. Gets tagged through the doorway. No wiggle room at all. And a tough 20 health clutch now demanded of him. One player tagged and pinned into that backside. Both towards Platt. Zywu just ends it. And Vitality show no sign of slowing down. Was that 2v4? So they got JKS first, and then the, yeah, they, uh, yeah, okay, that, that's one situation about JKS. That's one where I don't think you push in, uh, before. They also didn't have a flash for him again this time. And then, uh, in the 2v3, they could still pull it off, but great frags out of Vitality. No! You know, as I would imagine, oh that's not just a free Let's round go! because they get it down to a 2v3. That was still a pretty good situation for the CTs. And look at that. That's, that's, uh, that's a, that's a round with a save. Tacked right onto it. Honest, he's not going anywhere. Other than the grave. Ferocious T side out of Vitality right now. JKS eats the flash, loses his closest support. It's a Deagle from downtown to take down Dupree. That's an AK freed up. JKS has to watch both ends of this B site with nothing but a scout.
Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just surfing. He just got bored. Decides yeah. to make a move. Yeah, been there. Flies down to bottom middle. You know, got to make a play if you want to win a an upset like this, 3v4 with just eagles on the majority. Yeah. But and hell, he almost gets a kill. Yeah, but Vitality, they're moving nice. They're moving composed. Very controlled things. They've kind of made this game very standard now. And they're edging out in mechanical duels as well. I mean, they're taking advantage of Nico on the A side. They've kind of outfragged, I think, everyone. Right now, G2 simply can't hang on. I'm surprised production didn't bring up his ADR there. Savage production. <laughs> Now and it's they're coming. holding back. Now it's coming. Now they get a little more tame after 11. <laughs> so, as the bomb goes off and Vitality take a ninth, we wait for something of a CT side here. So far, no bueno. There it All is. right, there it is. Oh my oh god, no. why? <laughs> why? He has less ADR than he has deaths. I don't even know what. That's some kind of record. Why? Well, I guess... Actually, I think Kadian had point one after nine rounds. Or, I don't know. Anyways, it's low. It's single digits. If this was golf, he'd be a god. Well, Monacy's at least got the mid answer, so... It's not more than one. Oof. Dangerous cross back. Nico wants to get into the action from Catwalk. Hooksy's maybe about to have two players coming at him on long. Nico's in a playmaker spot. It's owned by Magisk, though. Dad, he's just listening. Yeah. Now Hooksy's got a lot to do. He's standing up on the plat, I believe, so fully exposed, ready for the duel. Oh, what an angle. Definitely less common. Yeah, he was owning Spinks on Vertigo, so. Damn, that's not far off the Ooh. mark. Modesty trying to chase a second chance. Yeah, he'd be missing a little bit. They got him. They got him to switch sides on mid. Oh, and they throw this smoke. It's oh, he can actually get back into it. They don't just smoke the door. So now they cross up. Hooksy's rotating in. He can run it at this A site, and Hooksy grabs him. Twenty seconds to spare. Oh, Monacy lands that, and a dink on Zaiwu. Look at this health advantage. I mean, Hooksy, this is his round. A couple bullets to each of these players, and he's good to go. Finds the headshot to Spinks. USP is out. One bullet versus Zaiwu. All he needs. The head is there. Oh, he, he got taps it. it. <laughs> a clutch for Hooksy in a 1v2. And G2, a very, very necessary round win. He doesn't always go hard, but when he does, it goes diamonds. A clutch. Only headshots here. Honestly, the gall of Spinks to stand up there when Hooksy was just spotted on long corner to kill ah, a CT guy, oh, that was just rude. But then he put it together. Listen, recover it. 6-9. Hooksy gives you a clutch. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Look, honestly, yes, I was been better so far than Monacy inside of middle. He's getting a lot. <laughs> I can't, dude. Man, we've had some zany names No one today. even moved for like three seconds. That was like passive aggressive. Like good teammates wouldn't talk about it. Yeah. You move along. <laughs> Monacy hit on the fallback. So painfully quiet right now. Oh. I'm just spotting with a flash. No smoke, obviously. Yeah, and uh, no teammates anytime soon. But um, 
we've got a weird setup from the T side. You know, two outside long. It feels like a crawl's coming up to cap, but they're running out of time to be able to do that. So I wonder if they're going to go mid B and let Spinks fake. He's probably got to go fast on this fake. Just make any kind of presence. And it looks like he is. Hooks, he's not falling for it. Actually catches Dupree, throws a flash out. That's a T-side smoke. Ooh, Hooksy going through in the gun round. Gets caught out by Zywu. We've still got Hunter in sight. Magisk alleviates the pressure. And Monacy just can't find it. Now, unfortunately for Monacy, he's also pinched from CT spawn. So no way he could get his footing on that B site. He's got to concede. And Vitality, that's double digits on this T side. 10 rounds to three. Yeah, well, good on Hooksy for kind of being the one to identify what was happening, even with that pressure that came up from Sphinx. I feel like this one is just like slightly mistimed from Vitality in the sense of if they had a few extra seconds, Sphinx could have time to work without just, you know, running out and dying uh, at long. Not that he does that, but, uh, you know, it, it's in the way that he played. <laughs> I just. What is that? It's hilarious. I don't know. So 10 3 T side. Momentous, to say the least. I think someone changed Monacy's sense, maybe. A little bit. Sabotage. Yeah. There's a sapper out there. Well, they're going to need him. No better time than the present. Eat. There we go. Whoa. That's blinded on long corner. Oh, wow. But of course, that's all they've got is that op. No other weapon following up behind it. I like how they go right to the gun. Yeah, you want some? Feels like the fact that hasn't been picked up, even though there was time, really tells them he was alone. Yeah, for sure. But there's a creeping crawl to the top of mid. Magisk, more than one player, about to round that corner, and he looks away just a second. Oh my god. Wow. There are beasts on the prowl. They're so fast that you maybe... I don't know. Magisk is watching, but Apex stands in the way. <gasps> oh, Magisk. Wow. <laughs> Saves him. But then Hunter grabs an AK. JKS is one, two. They can't do anything about that. The AKs both dip out. Eyes on Monacy. He's the one who started this. Shooting for four. Smokes onto the cross. That's going to enable it. Monacy gives himself a pocket to play with. JKS comes in. Oh, he's caught playing with grenades. Didn't expect Dupree to be set up that fast. Monacy, quick flick in. And with that man advantage maintained, 25 seconds to spare. Zywu's in the smoke. Nico's got the deagle. Magisk wants to cover, but it's going to be a tough one. Throws the molly to clear out boxes, but instead Hunter's just standing in the open. Now Magisk, he tries to tap it, and G2 have no business winning that. But they do. They do. They got a lucky timing when they were coming up through mid. But from there on out, and the Monacy opening kill, there was a lot of skill involved in like keeping uh, all of G2 or all of Vitality where they are. And of course, they read that Vitality would go back towards long as they were flanking. So a very nice call there in the mid round. And shout out to Monacy for the forward thinking, keeping the smoke in play instead of just throwing that earlier, you know, not buying it at all because it allowed them to close out there. Still, this game is very much in Vitality's favor. That was just one round. I wonder if Zonic goes, don't win this round because then we're 411 and then we're going to lose. Hopefully he's not that superstitious. Yeah. Guys, I wrote a book about this. Yeah. Come on, Hooksy. All yours. <laughs> oh! Okay, he got away. Yeah, no, he's, he's alive. He won that. He did so much damage, got away. I'd be nervous. Too. I actually wasn't joking, but that sounded like I was, I guess. That, that was pretty good. They just maintained long control. 45 seconds. Time's ticking, man. Shoot and for five. With, with Hooksy still alive here, Monacy has a number of angles opened up to defend against the long take, right? Just all this ramp, basically. No reason not to believe that T-Half could get competitive. 
Oh, Nico doesn't believe it for a second. Nah, he wants this A site held. He's trying to help out Monacy, who gets the first one. Grenade sail over. Nico just gets splattered by Sphinx, but Hooksy's got the one kill as they tried to crawl up. Apex dives into the CT spawn. He is ended. And Magisk, 10 seconds. It's a 1v3 left over. Time is not on his side, but everybody's close enough to die. They're all right here. He just needs to hunt down Hunter one second, and it's down beneath him. Again, it comes down to the wire. Side of Dust 2. It's their map pick. They wanted to take G2 here. They wanted Hooksy to be uncomfortable. They wanted to smack him around a little bit, and honestly, they did. But G2 did still get a few rounds. And with a pistol and maybe a little, you know, Kovach factor, something crazy could still happen. But uh, at the same time, it's looking real good between Zywu, Spinks, and Magisk. Yeah, Zywu was controlling in that for... How does Zywu have less kills than Monacy after that? I feel like the crazy part about Monacy was there, he had so many opportunities. He kind of, like, played positionally pretty well to, like, get so many chances. He just ended up missing a lot of shots, but I felt like Zywu was controlling a lot of middle in that first half. Let's see if that changes now. Definitely dominated the cross. Got him here, tucked on the boxes. Magic's got the plat. Oh, he's gonna burn alive, so try to take somebody with him as an inevitable death comes through. The Beretta's three from Zaiwu. In what world? He just unloads and shreds them head after head. JKS, all he can do is cross his fingers. What the hell? This guy is an animal. I, I was like, who is this? I couldn't even know who we were spectating for a second. And I was like, he's getting zero kills. You should have known. And then, yeah. Like, he just had a rage blade. I mean, I feel bad for Hunter. <laughs> it's an honor to be killed by Zaiwu. It probably doesn't feel like one. <laughs> <laughs> My bretas go. Yeah, like a motorboat. Now that would That's be not honor. what he sounds like. What? That's not what he sounds like. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> yeah. Kind of creepy when you do it. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> it's one of my all time favorite CSGO interviews. Yeah. Especially now that I know Freya. Yes. Even better. Makes it all the better. And, like, hearing Zywu speak more. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, he definitely could have gave an interview. Yes. No. No. G2 on the recovery here. AK, Galil, Tech9, Scout. And CT is not doing anything too crazy. Leaving the Danes inside of the B site. Zygote. On the A4. Little off angle here. Ooh. Nice kind of high low here from Dupree and Magisk. And there he is. Damn, Hooksy almost killed Zywu. Got the dink in with the Tech 9. Almost. Out of the 30 second mark. Uh-oh. Again. The amount of nades. Yeah. It's, okay. It's been a tough one. So I was looking for the walkout. Him and Apex. Lock in two. Monacy. Oh. Poor kid's getting pummeled. No time here. You better die. You better die before time. Probably wants to. And now they're hiding. Okay, they peek him. Give him that death. He could have got away to turn cat, so. Swung and ended it. Okay. Now it's just punching. It's like playing next to Dexter. Yeah. Imagine it was just punching, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's like hanging out with Smix. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Don't sit next to Smix for too long. Love Smix. She... Like when she laughs? She can really when slap. she's having fun? She can really slap. Yeah. It's, and the worst part is when she's happy. Yeah. It, it, it comes from a good place. It does. But it doesn't feel like it. Nade goes back towards blue box. That's Hooksy tagged even lower. Oh, that's a nade. That is a nade. Hooksy, I'm so sorry. The rest of your team 
can at least just retreat. Not that they'll have the bomb. Oh, Apex. Why not keep on going? They realize what was up. There's going to be a lot of door pressure, but that smoke, those frags, just deleted it all. Did you notice that you can pick up a gun, your pistol, while in the reload animation? Huh. That's not very realistic. Well, it, you, it, maybe if you're European, because, you know, they all play that, uh, what is it, that football game? Quop? No, the football. You know, like... Uh, football manager? Yeah. FIFA? No. No, I just mean soccer. And, uh, you know, I, they can, like, kick the ball up. Maybe that's what they're doing with the pistols. Uh, you know? I see. They kind of pronounce it like F-U-T ball. Football. Yeah. All of them. They all sound the same. Who was it? We were hanging out with Zipple yesterday, and he turned around in a conversation. He's like, yeah, I was playing soccer. Uh, uh, I mean, football. Yeah. And that's when I knew that they say soccer too. They do. But they just don't let us North secretly, Americans know it. Secretly. They want to say soccer. It's true. But there's just this European cult that doesn't let them do it. Yes. Who's in control? I'm on to you. Same way Vitality are on to victory lane soon enough by the looks of things. Three more to go on this CT side. Let's see if the guns of G2 can turn the tide of battle. That just has been a powerhouse this game, 19 and 8. It's interesting. Hooksy said that he learned a lot about Dust 2 from the guys because, you know, he doesn't have experience in it himself. Under Ooh, nice timing. Ah. But it comes with a cost. Apex from beyond the grave. Catches the frag kill. Ooh, Magisk in the open was meant to be caught out by Hunter. Now he is completely alone with 22 health and three Ts potentially coming in through mid. Zaiwu wants to help out but has to run through fire. And Magisk manages to catch Hooksy not looking. Flash towards tunnels. He could continue to hold them back. It's a great spot. Half of Monacy's gone. Magisk finally goes down. Zaiwu to take the place from window as Sphinx slowly creeps in behind them. What kind of a distraction? Can Zaiwu offer as Sphinx oh. gets closer and closer? He could just literally stop the plant here. Oh, Monacy will sneak by and Sphinx will take an inventory of him. He's sliding out. <laughs> Almost getting the kill to JKS, wow. but G2 hang on. Real nice kills there for Monacy, especially in a window. And got that bomb plant, kept that round moving forward and stopped what was an excellent hold from Magisk. Honestly, that's where it all began, basically. Doing the most nice! with just that Thomas in hand. Oh, looks like G2 are still very much in it. Maybe they were looking more forward to T side than CT side. But a good T side still won't be enough. It's got to be a great T side. A near flawless T side. Ooh. This was that hunter position from the other day. Mm -hmm. But they had it. And they had the op in the back, which is helps out a lot. Dupree's just hoping he doesn't die before he regains vision. Eco tries to come at him. Almost, but Hooksy, that was sharp. Galil headshot. Madge is going to take the front end of the bottom mid hold. Ooh, sees Hunter on the move. Now we've got this heavy alien, but they're pulling players out of the A site. Looks like they want to go for the mid retake instead. Forfeiting long and trying to uh, unroot Hunter before he becomes a problem. Yeah, so it's interesting because they don't leaves. go up cat. I, wow, actually, I mean, I like the idea from Vitality here uh, because you always have some extra time when you know it's just going to be a prolonged long play. But the fact that Hunter cannot get flanked now actually is like a counter in a big way. And now he's holding the long flank. That's very nice from Hunter. I love that reposition. Sphinx definitely doesn't see it coming. Bomb goes down. Seven rounds to G2 by the looks of things. That was cool. I'm not sure if he could see all of that playing out in his head, but ended up being like a really good option. And uh, Vitality don't have a way back into the round. So... Huge incentive to hold on to the guns here. I mean, for Vitality... They're in a position where they can win any rounds. 
One big play from Zywoop Magisk as well. Honestly, Magisk standing out at the moment. 21 and 9. Yeah. But nicely done by Hunter to uh, dodge the danger of the mid retake. And honestly, Apex going out into the open of the cat ledge. Never saw that boost coming. Mm -hmm. This right here definitely alleviates any pressure that could have been. They have room to eat that. It's not a huge deal for Vitality with the three-round start, but... Ooh, not too far off the mark. Opens up Magus to get aggressive. Why not? And then playing like this, he's got Dupree right behind him. Hunter expecting the push, confirms the presence. Thinks maybe someone's coming from sight, but it's actually just two down in the tunnels. And that smoke's about to fade, so they have to leave now or never. Yeah, but are they contained? It feels like they're just waiting. They're like, want to fight, see if there's pressure, but they're ready to push. Potential timing here. Lots of info being exchanged audibly, you know, from, from Cat and Long. And, uh, yeah, Hunter can once again kind of play a key role if it is going to be defending the flank. The CT start to curdle up, so now we get a more... You know, a uh, more understood position from both sides here. Honestly, waiting for a flash, potential for a flash out towards long. And of course, uh, a big advantage to G2. There is not that many guns here for Vitality. Oh. It's going to put the offer off his angle. Matches. Bit wild on the spray. Sphinx. Nice dinks. Zaiwu, though, now he's standing on an aisle. Kills Nico first. He's still up. Misses the second shot. Dupree will get the job done with just the 5-7. And the pistols fall back. Or at least one does. Dupree wants to round this back from Cat. Ooh. Apex just waits and spawn. He had not He had a way to plant better for Monacy. So there's a weird situation here where Vitality could figure this out. Killing JKS would put Monacy in a very compromised position. Dupree doubled back. Didn't find any other utility. Oh, he threw the AK down. So now that's two rifles here. They're, they're, they're giving the guns over. Yeah, Monacy does kind of want to fight first because of where the bomb is. Good Kills headshot. Five. Finds it. Kind of a little stall in the action there. So G2 decide, I don't know what's going on, but we'll take a glance. And in doing so, they'll take an eighth. Now that's only five rounds the difference. Uh, is there an op to recover here for Dupree? No, it would be over on site. Okay. Unless the bomb blows it into the open. He's trying. Looks not like good. not, yeah. Worth the search for sure. Oh, another shot missed by Monacy. I was wondering, I was like, who is dodging flashes in this position with everyone blind? And I think dude. Oh, yeah. Shot boosted, yeah. Thing is, Magus could have gotten those two kills along the wall. Yes. Could have gotten both. Yes. You know, especially with Monacy, Monacy missing, missing that shot. Yes. Could have gotten two. Yeah. It's, it's weird again because Monacy, he's got a lot of output right the deficit and uh, got a couple of rounds to prove why they're excited. I'll say so far, so good. Yeah. And this is just uh, Vitality looking for a third map. I mean, not even a, you know, ticket here with this win. Oi. Apex is going to put down the fire, but no kill for him. They will win the tunnels fight, the two players inside B. Look at this. G2 just kind of stranded all of a sudden. They didn't lose their tunnels player. It feels like that B takes all the easier. There's a flank top mid. Dupree Ooh. gets canceled out by Monacy. Critical shot. But Monacy and Nico are incredibly low, which means I feel like this is one of those moments Hooksy will need to deliver. Mandatory. And all they have to do is kill Zywu. Kill Zywu on this A site. You've got yourself a plant. If Monacy can do it himself, even better. Zaiwu misses the first few shots, gives himself a flash for the repeat. Oh, oh, there it is! Wow. That's what they need. Keeping Monacy alive makes this one feel even more likely. He gets the leg shot into Sphinx. Anything Monacy can do to set up Hooksy makes this a little easier. Magisk's head was spotted. Monacy tries to hone in. A missed shot from him. CT's half the cover, but Monacy's alive and kicking. Hooksy's been pilled off. 9 HP.
Magisk on the site, misses his chance, as does Monacy. Oh, he's coming up to default. In oh. the open. And he's in the open, yeah. Way too easy. He felt pinched, felt pressured, felt pushed back behind that box. It's close, but oh. no cigar. I wonder what the idea was there, why he wasn't strafing uh, right more, basically. But I guess setting up for the shot. Didn't take it. Huxy, it was a nice shot and a nice try here in the in the 2VX. They got the kill you were talking about, the key one and uh, Zaiwu on the site. But right now, it's, it's a round one here for Vitality. They're on 14. They're in a very powerful spot. Not every day you get to see the battle cry out of Zaiwu. No. That one was down to a 1v1, so quite an expensive round. Few players missing grenades. Sphinx with none. Yes. Tough as a pill as it is to swallow for G2. Just think about what you net if you win this one. Saves and half buys are not too far away. Round 23 will be critical. Oh, I felt like he was about to shoot. Iwu, no chance, but Dupree picks up the slack towards mid. Apex is just pinned into the pit by Hooksy. Those flashes were insane. JKS had him blind for, you know, a few seconds there. It's Iwu on the perch. Player beneath. He doesn't know about Hunter. Yeah, he's actually going to expose his... Yeah, he exposes his scope right there. Big opening, and another. Hunter won't be able to get the third. Magisk, he's got a lot of players crossing over, looking for the random shots to land. Nothing. He can hear the footsteps, he can try to zone them, but they'll get that bomb plant in with a man advantage. It's Sphinx and Magisk, and Sphinx found Ooh. out, splattered by Monacy in the long doors, and that is nine. We were just talking about the oh, money, and getting that last kill too? Jeez. Yeah, that's that that rifle. Like, the, the, ma the map is over, obviously. And of course, with this expensive round, Full they realize they're going to have to save, yeah. See what kind of damage they can do. Nice dink. Oh, there's damage. But there's help. Hooksy, go ahead. Crack Peace. him up, Hooksy, for the confidence. He's almost got as many kills as Nico. Hunter's going to rob him all. Make that tied with Nico here on Dust2. It looks like, once again, we might have a real match. You know, I think we're talking about four rounds here in the second half from Vitality, but three are the first three. So it was a really good pistol. Of course, that Zaiwu Dooley round, and then... Oh my God. Two anti-ecos. Forgot about that 3K. Yeah. Shredded and beheaded. Pretty quiet. They'll throw one flash over. CT is not going to be nervous about that. You know, in the base layer of this head to head, these two teams know each other and they're dust too. Oh, wait, hold on. Wow. Yep. Big hatch. Jesus. He gets popped. Nico, nice movement. Jumps up. Dupree, though, catching Hunter. Apex gets tagged, JKS goes down. CTs are picking up the kills, but Nico, oh, he hid behind the box. Oh, 3v3, and Hooksy's not getting stopped. He's not getting interrupted in the tunnel, so they have control of the site. Yeah, this is for 11, and honestly, you know, 3v3 retakes definitely favored towards T side. They pretty save. heavily of any map. Yeah, they're just not even going to try it. They're out. I think it's for the best. Wow, they, they've made this happen. That peak from Monacy, I mean, he just swings into the angle. There's no nades to assist. There's no boost that comes into it. He just, I think when they saw both Majisk and Dupree shoot, they knew that same high-low setup that we saw earlier on the half was taking place again. And that also implied that there's no off. So there's not actually a, a huge reason why he has to be incredibly scared. So it's still a confidence peak, but calculated at the same time.
a, a, I mean, they brought back like what felt like um, an impossible game to win to now in the realm of possibility. That it is. For the 2-0. a very recent loss to this very same team. And I was going to say, on a, you know, as a base layer in this head-to-head, -head, these two teams know each other, and they're dust too, and some of these players. But the advantage that G2 have is that this is a new style with some new ideas, and they might have changed some stuff that Vitality can't be entirely prepared for. Um, whereas for G2, Vitality are more of a known quantity, and that's also their benefit, that they've got to build on what they already have. I feel like in the first half, we kind of talked about even though Zaiwu had less kills, it was impactful and, and controlling in middle, but damn, dude, Monacy's 24-14 now. Mm. Mm -hmm. T-Side's been good to him. Zaiwu, four players right ahead. He's only going to get the one. Desert Eagle's out. Dupree softening up a couple. Magis hoping to do the same. Apex and Sphinx. That's two kills. One coming in from the CT cross. Bomb dropped in mid. No man's land. AK damage at a distance. Monacy's trying that duel and he loses. It's got to be Hooksy 1v2. So much pressure. Not a single point of damage. He's got two full health players at the top of mid. And he's coming in from a position they're not watching just yet. I mean, they haven't clued into this timing. They don't actually know where he started as well, so... There's a chance he finds one, 1v1 one one here. And Sphinx inside of mid, cleans his clock. That's it, they lock in 15. That's what Sphinx is meant to do, firepower, baby. Deals with Monacy through the doorway, turns it on, on Hooksy. Nice attempt from Hooksy, he gets that insta headshot versus Apex. But Sphinx is then on high alert. There it is, first bullet headshot, absolutely rocked. Yeah, a clean one. 15 to dot vitality. He felt it. Millimeters off. Buys right back. Four rounds is not impossible for G2. Overtime, no reason that it's not a possibility. Nico waits with the off. Oh, Sphinx what? peeks into the scope. <laughs> finds a headshot. And now, in the closing moments of Dust 2, perhaps, we have to look to Sphinx on the brink of 20 kills. Haven't been talking about him. He's just kind of been quietly roaming around the map, lurking on T-side. Has provided this kind of scary presence as the lone man on Vitality in most situations. But now is taking a more forward role in controlling the action. It's kind of like the Reaper, you know? He's never too far away. Hooksy bests him. Ooh. Revenge from the last round. And it comes at an important moment into the 4v4. The Danes are starting to push into the tunnels, though. Yeah, they've got one confirmed more at long. Oh, pack mentality. G2 could just skate right past. They could go Good. straight into that B site. They're trying to cheat back into the situation. CTs don't have that much info. Smoke comes down inside of the tunnels. And it just hits his. Finishes off hook seat, gets Hunter. Ooh. JKS tagged down to 60. Oh, they Monacy, Monacy is alive. And he's got Apex trudging at him from top mid. Bombs being planted. Monacy catches Apex unsuspectingly. Bomb Oh, plant. JKS! Huge headshot. And Zaiwu, he backs up. He doesn't want any of this. G2 with the recovery for 12, only three rounds away. There was a map in that kill. And JKS did not know they were coming in from tunnels. Wow. It's gotten so serious. Woof. Magisk and Monacy, the two within 180 yard. Magisk looking for 30. You saw that M4, A4 spray to the window. Nearly getting a third kill against JKS. Almost doing enough damage. You know, we, we kind of said it about Sphinx. He's been silently walking around, doing his own thing, etc. Yeah. Well, we just got the same thing from JKS. Oh, yeah. Wow. Caught jumping by the tunnel push. He gets the headshot. He secures the kill. And with it, G2 will still play their chances. It's a scout on Apex, op on Zaiwu, pistols for the rest of the pack. And a scope fight in mid. They already kind of lost an eco. 
A mixed buy similar to this. And the action was in mid in that situation as well, but the flash is great Ooh. and the spray transfer for a hooksy. Let's go. It is versus a pistol and a scout. He's got the advantage and he makes sure to flex it. Oh, and Hunter just creeps out from tunnels. So any attempt at a hold on this B site ripped yeah. to shreds. In an ostensible change in confidence here from Hooksy. He's getting comfortable. Again, doesn't even play Dust 2. It's not even an issue of just his individual level. Just no, not even experience on this map. So they're not expecting a lot from him. And that kill from Spinks and the, the round one. And now this opening 2K in a situation where they messed up on the eco previously. He's definitely pulling his weight. More weight than Nico, in fact, somehow. Tying JKS with these two. Yeah. They're looking to take away that op, maybe. Sphinx loses the Deagle. Sniper's still in play. Zywu creates a bit of space for himself, but Hunter's about to come through those doors. Yeah. Well, they're on both sides. They are 100% going to attack him, so Zywu's got to fight his way out, and he won't be able to. Nope. No save there. They don't have to worry about that next round. Full rebuy needed, and G2 continue to close this gap. Timeout call. There is still the amount of money spent on it that's gone. Look at the top of the screen. Three rounds straight from Vitality. These little bursts of victory from G2. That trend lends us to believe they could do this. Yeah, one was, in, one was again the fourth round. Spink pulls out the clutch. Takes down Monacy, stops the bomb in mid from that long flank. Two to go. Magic Cup. Zywu not far away. Nice nade. That's exactly what you're looking for. A little bit of chip damage, but it goes both ways. Hooksy's job made that much harder. Numbers the advantage. Magisk, it's gonna have to be big. First one's his, second and a half. Zywu quick in. Cancels out the Aussie. Reinforcements inbound. Ambitious. And unfortunately here for G2, they're gunning on the stars. But one of these stars has not fired off on Dust2. Nico, it is now. He goes for the window peak, gets tagged up ever so slightly. And as the smokes begin to fade, the retake gets closer. Sphinx is going to take to the tunnels with Dupree. It's Zywu and Apex on the other side of the doors. They've got more utility to offer us, but that's decent damage. Monacy's going to need a reload soon, and he's standing in the open. He's getting attacked by tunnels down to half health. Nico's cleared. Vitality, they've got it. Map three. There we go. Oh, man, they locked it in. They made it happen. They finally clutched it out.